Welcome to my video, this Akujin, presenting the Low Stars All Star Series. The mission for today is Willing Stern, I'm Heps, ST10 with Exia. Here's the squad composition Exia S3 M3, Module 3 is optional. Bring operators who ignore the deployment limit, the more, the better. Bring one AoE medic, E2 not required. And here's how it was done. Serve up some apple pie. Spray some perfume. Plant the flower. Put in a place. Night in the back. Use gravel. Take it over. Any orders for me? Drop in Got the instructor. Pop car in front. Before the wind player makes contact with Popcar, change the tune. Hang in there. In Fill it quickly, blood. and then drop Annihilation. It will DPS the orchestras. Hang in there. Boss teleports to specific checkpoints around the stage. That's fine with me. How do you like this, son? Keep an eye out. Can heal that wound in no time. The more healing you have, the better. I am your shadow. Take it over. You use gravel. Mm -hmm. Annihilation. Change the tune. You could use a Lord or a Liberator in place of Popcar facing down to help DPS the boss. <laughs> Take it back. Yes, him. Now, whenever he loses a certain amount of HP, he will teleport two of our operators and deploy them randomly. That's why I recommend bringing in lots of operators with zero deployment. Do not stall for too long. The boss will enrage and do a game over mechanic. EPSM as much as you can with either your operators or creation. Phase 2. In Phase 2, he takes control of the tuning nodes, so we can no longer use them. We have to rely on creation to DPS the boss, or you could surder yes. it somewhat. Yeah. Drop down Annihilation. Terrible. DPS that boss. Now the boss will also mark two of our operators. Marked operators cannot attack nor use skills. It takes five hits to break the mark. Understood. And he does that in phase Good one. Job. Forgot to mention. That's why I'm mentioning it now. So creation can DPS. Yes, come on, chill out. In summary, boss teleports to specific checkpoints around the stage. This is phase one. 
Whenever he loses a certain amount of HP, he teleports two of your operators, deploys them randomly throughout the stage. That's why I recommend bringing operators who ignore the deployment limit. He also marks two of our operators. Marked operators cannot attack nor use skills. It takes five hits to break the mark. That's why we have Exia, fast attacker. And then in phase two, he takes control of the nodes. He can't use them. And don't stall for too long because the boss will enrage and end the game. Mm -hmm. I've arrived. And there we go. That's how I cleared ZT10. Check out the links below for more Zwilling's Therm content. Check out my socials, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.